Yeah, Karen, this issue actually started in Oklahoma City, but really culminated when the flight landed here in Denver and this disabled veteran had to be checked out by paramedics after he passed out from a panic attack. He says that panic attack was brought on after hours of discrimination by Southwest employees. Sergeant John Brode served two tours of duty in Iraq, earning several medals, but he was injured in combat in 2006. After a medical retirement from the Marine Corps, he started using a highly trained and certified service animal named Ariel. Individuals who utilize service animals have every right to use that service animal in any publicly available space. On a flight to Denver in September of 2006, Brode says he had an experience that still gives him nightmares. He was subject to discrimination from the very second that he went to the arrivals gate all the way through touchdown and disembarking. This was 100% tied to the fact that he is an individual with disabilities and that he utilizes a service animal for really important medically necessary reasons. Brode says no less than six employees mistreated and disrespected him and Ariel. The Southwest website does have some rules and regulations about service animals, but Broad's attorney says what happened here is inexcusable. I think the other passengers also recognize that you have to treat people with dignity and respect, regardless of whether they have a service animal or a disability. We reached out to Southwest about this incident, but they didn't answer any of our questions about customers with disabilities. Broad says he wants other combat veterans or people with service dogs to know about this incident so they can be prepared next time they hit the skies. We're live at DIA tonight. Jeff Todd covering Colorado First. Thank you, Jeff.